Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Martin, and in this video, I will show you how to sort data in Excel. Uh, we have the same uh, car number and mileage data here, and I've added another column with the, the amount of miles the cars have traveled since they last got their maintenance. First, we select the cells we want to sort, and then oh, and we're in data, and then we go to data. And you, we have here, we have a number of sort options. Well, the most easiest one is just sort A to Z. And it now sorts it by the last column. Or Z to 8. Uh, we're going to undo that. Ah, there we're back. Because most of the time it will be able to, to steer the you know, what you sort. Um, you have, but usually it gets pretty, pretty good results, but always check what happens. Um, you can see this one, it's an important one. Excel will automatically detect if your data has headers, as in the titles of the columns or the titles of the rows. Uh, and you can see if we turn it off, this was what we entered, what we uh, selected at the beginning. Um, but you want this on because otherwise it will sort car number somewhere between 1 to 10 uh, which you don't want obviously and here you can say okay sort by car, car numbers no we want to sort by mileage and we want to sort on values you can select sort on other things as well and we want to go from smallest to largest and not from largest to smallest we click OK and here you can see very neatly it's all been uh, arranged well, we sort again by um, car number to get back to where we started. Um, and you can see it's all back again. Uh, what usually uh, will go wrong with sorting, and people won't notice it at first, but if you work with a lot of data and you have large Excel sheets with huge, uh, huge amounts of, of, of cells and columns and rows, uh, what will happen is people will say, okay, I want to sort cars by mileage. And they will do this. I'll say, okay, I want to sort on mileage and I want to sort from smallest to largest. And Excel does exactly that. The only thing is that um, they forgot, in this example, I forgot or deliberately forgot in this case, to select this column as well. So it's excluded from uh, the sorting operation. If I go back here and do you can see that what happens, this is 1, 2, and 10, and this column is like it's 10,000, 5,000, 20,000, etc. And now this is all changed because it's sorted by mileage, but this isn't. And that means obviously that something is going to go very, very wrong with the um, maintenance timing for these cars. Uh, so that's why you should always make sure to select all data and not just the the column that you want to sort because otherwise you'll you'll mess up your data big time and if you make a graph later um, you'll uh, you'll see what the mess you you made but but they're very tricky to then find where it was and undo it undo it all um so um bit basic lesson today but um a very 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 important one uh and so i hope you found this um this helpful and uh, and you can use it uh, if you uh, if you like, you can subscribe to this video on YouTube, and well, I most certainly would like that. And uh, there's also uh, you can uh, click on the link to my website below the video in the description. Uh, the website is worksmarter.tv, uh, where you can find more stuff about uh, learning Excel. Um, and if you have any questions or remarks, you can leave them in the comments. Uh, and I'll get to it. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye